Okay, welcome back. And today I just wanted to show you um, some parts that I've cast up for a guy that uh, put a post on Facebook. He was uh, looking for replacement parts for the shoulder joint. He had the same issue as I did. So I um, had some spare parts here and I've been spending a little bit of time making sure they're all good before sending them. And the one on my figure I put on a few months ago and it was tight when I put it on. And because of the type of resin it is, it's quite, a, it's a medium sure hardness, which means it's obviously a medium. So maybe I need to get a stronger uh, resin. But what I've done is, with, as with these ones, I've put tape around them to give it a bit more, uh, to close that gap, there's a slight gap there. And just to, you know, to hold it tight because over time it's expanded. So as you can see, it still holds a pose fine. You can still, maybe just about. But yeah, the frictions go in there. Yeah, it's a little bit hit and miss and it does pop off. But once it's like that, in that sort of pose, it's it's not going anywhere. And mine's the worst out of the three. So I've given you the best two. As you can see here, once you pop it on, you can hear that pop. It's not going anywhere. And it's really tight. Maybe a bit too tight. So yeah, you've got a, a nice fix in there. And what else to say? Yeah, maybe if you're manipulating it, press it in, then turn. Because when you extend it, you put more pressure on this section here. So, you know, you really need to have it pressed in before you turn it. You don't have to, but that's just my recommendation. I say the tape in the inside just to give it a bit more friction. This one is the better out of two. You can hear the pop. See that little click, pop. And uh, that one doesn't need the, the tape in the inside as much, if at all. No, I haven't put any in that, in that bit. So that's the better joint I would use. I'll be sending these two to you to try out for yourself. And um, I'll be getting some uh, new resin soon so I'll be buying some hard resin and uh, try those out and see if that makes a difference but for now that's it uh, thanks for watching if anybody needs a part um, in the future I should have the stuff by by the time you see this video and um, yeah I mean it's it's pretty bad to put all that weight there's about 100 grams here if you look on the weighing scales here um, just turn it on zero it I mean that's quite a lot of weight to be putting on that sort of joint so it looks nice but really um, not made to last but and so you can, this will do for now. Most of the time I just pose mine static anyway, so no crazy poses, but you can if you want to. And this is the original joint. It's just as good, if not stiffer, on my one. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this has been helpful, informative, whatever. And... Um, Catch you soon.